So you're playing Evelyn, right? You're playing Evelyn versus Kindred. Now let's analyze the matchups, right? I'm only red side. So we have Kami top versus Jax. Now who wins this? Does anyone know who wins Kami versus Jax? Who wins the matchup? The answer is... Yeah, Jax, exactly. Jax is the winner. Jax hard counters Kami, for sure. Right? But because he hard, he hard counters Kami, right? Um, we gotta influence the matchup early game. Because it's not like a hard counter early game. It's only a hard counter late game. Early game is like manageable. You can still like get a lead on, on Jax early game. It's mostly, it's mostly skill matchup early game. My thought process was, okay, I'm putting a ward on my red and then going to my blue. Because Kindred is most likely gonna start red and try to invade me at my red. Okay? And because top is melee versus melee matchup, two people who have like very close range, they will fight a lot. And so the first jungler that comes top will for sure have the bigger influence on the game. And so my path in this game was, okay, I'll do my bot side camps, right? So here I was a little bit scared, maybe Kidrat can level 2 invade me, but he didn't. So because he didn't level 2 invade me, I know in my head, okay, so Kidrat can only invade me level 2 and level 3. So he didn't invade me level 2, so he will invade me level 3 100%, okay? But level 3 when? Well, Kidrat's gonna do probably red, ground, blue, and invade me at my red. That's like the second thing he can do, right? So... Instead of doing immediately my, my, my raptors, in my head I'm like, okay, Kindred's gonna invade me at my red, so I'm gonna do my red, so that if he comes, my red's already gone and he can steal it. So exactly what happens, I take my red, and now let's look at Kindred, what's Kindred doing? Oh, as predicted, whoa, I'm a genius, oh, oh my god, as predicted, right, Kindred is coming to invade me at my red, and that's like, with no vision, just by deducting stuff, by being like, oh, okay, so he didn't invade, invade, invade me level 2, so he's gonna invade me level 3. And so I'm hiding here on purpose, because if I was doing it in this push, he would have killed me, right? But no, I do it on the opposite push, because I know he's coming. So now I'm like, okay, well, Kindred is not here. I don't know where he is. Where is Kindred? Okay, he might come on my, he might come on my Gromp, uh, on my Krugs. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do them, and I'm gonna pull them, out, so I can escape on my turret. And he comes from down. Okay. The reason I pulled him to my turret is because some kindred jumps this wall. And if I'm doing it, like, here, I might die. So instead, of, I'm trying to pull them out. Okay, he comes here. Okay. He comes here. I know I know he's coming, by the way. I know, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I don't use W. My W is kept because I know kindred is coming. You know, usually I tell people, level 3, take 2 points in Q. But if you're gonna get invaded... And you know you're gonna get invaded, you put you put a point in W instead. Because that way you can have W when he invades you. And so let's look what happens. Wow, I have W because I know he's gonna invade me. And then look, my Kami is right there. Right? I have Pryo. So I just run away while he's attacking me. And the second Kami goes in, I'm like, okay, now we turn. Now we turn. Now Jax completely... <laughs> I don't know what Jax is doing. Jax is trolling. He just walks up to me and ignites me. <laughs> He thinks I'm gonna die. Whatever. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Jax rolled that so hard. Anyways. Okay. Now Corky and Kindred are, are here. Now do I turn immediately? No, I don't. Right? I, I wait as long as possible. Hey, 2 HP. Easy. I wait as long as possible. for so my, so my HP regions. Because when you're out of combat, your HP regions. So I go out of combat. I wait as long as possible. Look, I don't even do anything. I let my team go in first, right? So Zed goes in, I wait, I wait, I wait. Look, I'm not doing anything, right? I'm just waiting. Okay, I'm regening as much HP as possible. And then when I see the Corky W in, so Corky has no W, I'm like, okay, I can go back in. Now, if you think about it, imagine you're Corky, right? Evelyn is 1 HP. You want to flash on her, right? You want to flash on her. But you can also flash away to escape. So I walk towards him. So I bait Corky to walk towards me. Like, look, look, Corky walks towards me. Because he's like, oh, Evelyn's 1 HP. I'm gonna kill her. But I'm like, no, no. I'm gonna W and Q you so I can slow you. And you can't even touch me. Ah, you can't touch me, bro. You're slowed. And not, not only that, but I get the assists. So I have three assists now. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, Jax is TPing, but uh, it was lagging. 
So Jack is TPing, and now this is like very <laughs> this is very risky. Okay. What I do here is very risky because I'm a professional and I know my damage and I know Jack's damage. So Jax is TPing, but I have smite. So I go back in, I know I can just smite the, 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 the Krug. I make Jax use all his abilities on me, so I tank as much damage as possible. And so my team, their cooldowns are coming back, right? And now they're coming back, now they're gonna turn. And now they turn, right? Oh, I flash, and now Jax has no flash, and he's fucked. He has, look, no Q, no W, no E. He has no abilities in, in the middle of the, of the enemy team. And now look, he's just getting kited. And again, I don't do anything. Do I Q? I don't Q, I don't E. I just wait for my passive to heal me, in case he can Q on me later. I wait, I wait, I wait. Look, his Q comes back, and I know when his Q is gonna, is gonna come back. But when his Q comes back, ah, it's too late. I, I, my E can just kill you midair. Yeah, you just play with your team. And that's your, how you play Evelyn early game. Because you're gonna realize that baiting cooldowns as much as possible, right? is super important because I could have just ran away from the beginning but I chose to go back in on Corky to make it so he walks back to me so maybe he can flash on me or maybe I make, I make him waste even more cooldowns and then same thing on Jax I go back towards him because I know that he can maybe kill my team but if I make him waste abilities on me and I smite the Krug I make it so my team can actually survive and actually like just stay alive and just kill Jax when he TPs back and that's why I tell people as much as possible try to limit test you know like who in the right mind would go back here with 1 HP? But you gotta limit tests. You gotta you gotta be able to discover new opportunities. Because that's how you climb, right? Everyone in your elo is the same skill. Everyone is the same mentality. Everyone has the same brain. If you're a little bit above them, immediately you climb. Immediately. Because nobody expects what you nobody expects it. You know? Like this game is like what? If I look at, at my team at my team's ranks, it's like a master, you know, low grandmaster game. And I'm still styling on them that hard, like, Evelyn is not supposed to kill the entire enemy team 4 for 0 at 3 minutes. But hey, I'm doing it. And you can do it too. Oh, I, and also, you, you, you know something really funny? Look at this. So, so I completely destroy him this game, right? Complete destroy us. Wait, that's no invade please? Really? <laughs> I just shot on him so hard. Yeah, I know he's high challenger, he's my friend. I didn't know that was him. But look, look, look. If you go in his live game, look at this, he bans Evelyn because I stomped him so hard. <laughs> that's how you know, that's how you know he got destroyed. You know you destroyed them when the next game they ban your champion. Round of applause, round of applause. Perfectly played Evelyn early game, perfectly played Evelyn early game.